Welcome to Data Mualim. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified for more interesting videos. Today we will see how to integrate Salesforce objects data as well as reports data in Power BI. So let us get started. First is Salesforce objects. Click on Get Data and select More to browse all the data sources. Now search for Salesforce and we will be able to see two different connectors for Salesforce. One is Salesforce objects and another report. Select Salesforce object. A pop-up appears asking for a connection URL, either select production or we can pass a custom URL instead. Now click on sign in and pass the username and password. Once signed in, click on connect to create a connection with Salesforce objects. And there we can see all the objects listed. Once we have selected our required objects, we can click either on load or transform data to transform before loading. Data is loaded successfully, now we can create our reports on top of it. Now let us go to the next connector, Salesforce Reports. It can be used when we have already reports residing in Salesforce, but there is a limitation here in Power BI. It can only fetch a maximum of 2000 rows. So be cautious before using this connector. We can follow the same steps we did earlier while fetching the Salesforce objects. Now let us see a few known limitations of using this connector. All the limitations are listed in Microsoft documents. Mainly Salesforce reports have the limitation of 2000 rows. And trail accounts will not have API access. In this way, we can integrate Salesforce data. Stay tuned for more tutorials. Hope you like this video, if you have, please click on the like button and subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos. Also, comment below on which topic you would like to see my next video. Thanks for watching.